everybody. Welcome back to math class. And uh, it's time to go back to your seats. So come on, everybody. Let's go to your seats. Please get off the furniture. And it's time for math. All right. Well, since you're all not paying attention anyway, um, let's look at the TV and see what we can see for our new math lesson. Hey, everybody. Welcome to math class for today. Today we are going to be learning about how to find the area of a trapezoid. And you may think, what the heck is a trapezoid? Well, here is a trapezoid. It looks like this. It is a quadrilateral, so it's a four-dimensional shape, but it has only one, two sides that are parallel. If you remember the parallelogram, let's look at a parallelogram. Remember parallelogram? All sides are parallel. Well, this is only two sides are parallel. You could also think of it, it looks a little bit like a triangle with the top cut off. But the main thing about a trapezoid, two parallel sides and then two sides that are not parallel. So if we look at this parallelogram, we say we call this base one and we call this side base two, right? So it's sort of like the top and the bottom, but we'll call it base one and base two. And this dashed line, what do you think that's going to be? Just like in a triangle, that's going to be the height. And here, look, we have a title. So here we know that base one is four, base two is six, and, ba and the height is two. So now, check it out. If I take this trapezoid and I just copy it, here's another exact copy, same size. We put them side by side. But now look what I can do to it. I can flip it over and it looks like they'll kind of fit together. And now when they fit together, it looks like, what is this shape? Oh, it's the parallelogram that we just looked at. So now we have a parallelogram. And so if this four, this base one over here, it's down here and base two on this shape, it's over here. So if I were to find the area of this, you remember how to find the area of a parallelogram. It's just base times height. So this big base is, here's base one, and this is base two, right? So if I do this base plus this base, that's six plus four is 10, 10 times two is 20, right? So that would give us the area of this whole big parallelogram. But we don't want the area of the whole parallelogram, we want just half of it, which is the blue part. So if I find the area, if we know the whole parallelogram is 26, plus four is 10 times two is 20. Then I have to find, I have to cut it in half. That cuts it in half. And so we know that for a parallelogram, the area is base times height. But the trapezoid is only half of the parallelogram. Sorry if the letters got cut off here. The trapezoid is only half of the parallelogram. So area of a parallelogram, the area equals height times base one, plus base two divided by two. Got it? Height times base one plus base two. That gives us the whole parallelogram, but we just want half of it. So that's why we divide by two. Cool. So in this case, it would be two times four plus six. So it's two times four plus six is 10. Two times 10 is 20. 20 divided by two is 10. So then the area of this, just this blue trapezoid would be 10. Cool, got it. Let's try a thousand more examples. Here's another trapezoid. We have one base is eight, the other base is 10, and this is four, the height is four. So you see if you can figure it out. Again, use this formula, area, that's an A there, area equals height times base one, plus base two. So first you add these two, eight plus 10, eight plus 10 times 10. Okay, ready? Oh, look, I, it even labels it for you. All right, now you figure it out. Ready, go. All right, so you should have four times the quantity eight plus 10. So you do eight plus 10 is 18. Four times 18 is gonna be some big number, 72. And then 72 divided by two is 36. Got it? I hope so. It's all right, we can try another one. Oh, here's a purple trapezoid. 
Let's try this one. We have 10 for one base, 20 for the other base, and 3 for the height. All right, ready, go. See if you can figure it out. All right, so you should have area equals 3, the height, times the quantity 10 plus 20. 10 plus 20 is 30. Remember, we do parentheses first. So that's 30 times 3, which is 3 times 30 is 90. And 90, then you divide that whole thing by 2, which should give you 45. All right, cool. Um, and that's it. So now let's go check out the book. All right, everybody. We are on page 683, 683. So go on to page 683 in your book right now. And I'm also going to write over here, I'm going to remind you about what the area, uh, the formula for area of a trapezoid. So the formula is area equals um, height, so the height times base 1 plus base 2. 2. Now those are in parentheses, and then the whole thing is divided by 2. All right, so we're going to use that information to find out these. So let's look at number 1 on page 683. We're going to first find uh, the, let's find the base up here. Base 1 is 1, 2, 3. So this has a length of 3. This has a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This has a length of 7 down here. Now we've got to find out the height. So again, the height is always a straight up and down line. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is 8. So now you have base 1 plus base 2 times the height. And then the whole thing, remember, you've got to divide by 2. So let's see if you can figure that out. Ready, go. All right, so you should have, if I use this formula, I'm going to have, I'll write it over here, area equals height, which in this case is 8, times the quantity base 1 plus base 2, so it's 3 plus 7, and that whole thing is then divided by 2. So what's 3 plus 7? Well, that's 10. 10 times 8 is 80. 80 divided by 2 is 40. So this should be 40 square units. All right, so now let's try number 2 on page 683. So here we have the base up here. So notice these squares are only partly colored in, but we're not counting the squares, we're counting the edge. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. So this base is 4, this base is 1, 2, and the height, if we count going straight down, 1, 2, 3. It has a height of 3. Got it? So see if you can figure this one out on your own. Ready? Go! Alright, so you should have area equals height, which is 3, times base 1 plus base 2, 4 plus 2, and the whole thing is divided by 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So this should be 9 square units. Got it? Cool. All right, now we're on number 3 on the same page. Let's try this. Now here's, look what they do. They kind of give you the blanks to fill in in the formula, right? Now we know the formula is A equals uh, height times the quantity base 1 plus base 2 over 2. Here they put like the square for the height afterwards, right? So they're doing base 1 plus base 2 and then times height. The order doesn't matter for that. So here we have um, this trapezoid. Notice even though this is still a uh, right angle, a straight line, it's still a trapezoid because it is not parallel to this one. So first thing you're going to do is take these numbers and plug them in the right places here and then find out the area. Got it? So remember, this is base 1, base 2, and height. Put them in the right place up here. Ready? Go! All right, so what you should have done is you find base 1 is 6, base 2 is 12 units, and the height is 7 units. 
right? So when it's right next to the parentheses, that means times. And what do we always divide by? Two, because this is finding the area of the uh, parallelogram, if you were to put it, or triangle, if, or rectangle, if you were to put it next to it. Okay, so if we were to um, figure this out, we know that 6 plus 12 is 18 times 7. So let's do 18 times 7. So I don't have that one memorized. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 7 plus 5 is 12. So it's 126. But then it's divided by 2. So you have to do 126 divided by 2, which maybe you can figure that out. It should be 63. So your answer for that one should be 63 square units. Cool. Let's try number 4. All right, um, yeah, let's do number four. Okay, so we have one base is 11. This base is 14 times the height, which is eight. And what do we always divide by? Two. All right, now you figure it out. Ready, go. All right, so you should figure out that 11 plus 14 is 25. 25 times 8 should not be too hard for you. You should know that's 200. Oops, 200. And 200 divided by 2 should be pretty easy. It's 100. So your answer should be 100 square units. Cool? All right. So now here, let's go down to number five and six, and let's see if you can uh, figure these out. So I'm not going to give you so much help. So let's try number five. Ready, go. All right. So now let's look at the answer for number five. Um, where it's going to be three plus seven. So I'll just write area equals. 3 plus 7, 3 plus 7 in parentheses, times 8 over 2. Now here's an advanced thing that you can do, and it, it you don't want to, you may not always want to do it, but, so I'm dividing all of this by 2, I can take this 8 and just divide this 8 by 2, and then cancel them out. But let's do it the long way for now. 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 times 8 is 80. 80 divided by 2, you should know, is 40. So you should have 40 for number 5. Now, let's try number 6. Ready? Go. All right. So notice how I rewrite the formula. I write it out every time. It's really important. Don't try to do it in your head. So it's going to be 10 plus 6. So in parentheses, 10 plus 6 multiplied by 9 times 9 divided by and the whole thing divided by 2. So now I do 10 plus 6 is 16 and 16 times 9 is 144 and 144 divided by 2 is 72. So you should have 72 as your answer. Okay, so now for your homework, your practice for today is you're going to go on to IXL, IXL, and you're going to do FF4.